Prince Harry's heartbreaking admission about Queen, can't do it without Philip. Prince Harry made a heartbreaking admission as he epitomized the strength of Queen Elizabeth II's marriage with Prince Philip. Today, the royal family and the country is saying goodbye to the Duke of Edinburgh. The ceremony was held at St. George's Chapel, in the grounds of Windsor Castle. Prince Harry was present today at the ceremony where only 30 people were able to attend due to coronavirus restrictions. Meghan Markle was unable to travel to the UK due to doctor's advice, she is pregnant with the couple's second child. Heartwarming images of Prince William and Harry talking were seen today, showing that the family has united despite a turbulent few months. As the Queen says farewell to her husband of 73 years, words from Harry in 2012 show just how important the Duke of Edinburgh was to Her Majesty. The Duke of Sussex said he doesn't think the Queen would be able to perform her public responsibilities without Philip by her side. He added, I don't think that she could do it without him, especially when they're both at this age. He made the comments in an interview for a three-part television documentary, The Diamond Queen, which aired on BBC One. Harry spoke with the BBC's Andrew Marr, the documentary's correspondent, who wrote a piece about it for Radio Times magazine at the time. Mr. Marr said the Queen's grandson admired her ability to turn up, still smiling, at places she might not want to be and said the Prince attributed the Queen's strength in part to the support of the Duke of Edinburgh's presence and companionship. Harry added that the support was paramount regardless of whether my grandfather seems to be doing his own thing, sort of wandering off like a fish down the river. Mr. Marr also interviewed Prince William who said the Queen has carved out a path between private and public duty. He said, I think she doesn't care for celebrity and she really minds about having privacy in general. Harry made a touching tribute to his grandfather after news of his death was announced. The Duke of Sussex said, he was authentically himself, with a seriously sharp wit, and could hold the attention of any room due to his charm, and also because you never knew what he might say next. He will be remembered as the longest training consort to the monarch, a decorated serviceman, a prince and a duke. Harry continued, but to me, like many of you who have lost a loved one or grandparent over the pain of this past year, he was my grandpa, master of the barbecue, legend of banter, and cheeky right till the end. He has been a rock for Her Majesty the Queen with unparalleled devotion, by her side for 73 years of marriage, and while I could go on. I know that right now he would say to all of us, beer in hand, oh do get on with it. So, on that note, Grandpa, thank you for your service, your dedication to Granny, and for always being yourself. You will be sorely missed, but always remembered, by the nation and the world. Megan, Archie, and I, as well as your future great-granddaughter, will always hold a special place for you in our hearts.